Hello everyone, we're here today with a great Latin American model. He is a fitness model, he is an entrepreneur, and he's also a very good friend, David Anao. David, welcome. Julian, it's a pleasure to be in your show. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, well, we're great friends and we've been talking a lot about our experiences in the industry. Uh, me as a photographer, him as a model, doing a lot of campaigns and everything. And uh, we wanted to share some insights, some things from inside the industry through our experiences uh, and, and share them with everybody. Thank you That's for being right. here. That's right. That's right. And uh, it's something that I am very glad that you are doing. And it's uh, sharing with the people that is on, just starting in this industry, sharing with them so that they can uh, learn from the people that's been here for so many years. I've learned also from the people you've interviewed previously, mm -hmm. before, before I was interviewed here, I've learned from them too. So it's something that you keep always learning and improving. So it's great to be here. Exactly, exactly, because uh, we, we learn every day and the professional that doesn't have that mentality of learning every day, that openness, it, it's going to set himself or herself to failure. They're exactly. not going to improve, they're not going to grow. And that's the idea, to share what we've been through. Uh, we've learned a lot from each other, you know, doing the, the pictures when we've shot, doing the videos when we've shot, you know, your experience in that, and I was a producer, or, you know, doing film and everything, and from my perspective as a photographer, all the things that we've learned from each other. But your career has been 17 years now, right? Tell us a little bit about it, for those who, who don't know who David and Al is. Well, it's been uh, 17 years. Uh that I've been seeing a lot of changes in this industry. I started when the, there was not uh, digital photography, so uh, the models had to be really uh, beautiful. I, I mean by that, by really, because now you don't have to be really beautiful. Uh, the, the, the Photoshop and the post-production makes you very beautiful. But at that time, you, need to, you used to need to take care a lot of your skin. If a mosquito bites you in a production, I remember Oscar de la Renta, there was a person always paying attention that there were no mosquitoes and putting a repellent in the skin and taking care of your skin. Because if a mosquito uh, bites you here, then it's ruined. You don't have a way to... to to fix that. So um, things uh, were very different at that time. Uh, it's been a lot of changes and uh, it's good. I think uh, photography um, it's getting easier uh, now uh, because uh, there is a lot of uh, help for the photographers and by that uh, I mean that photographers need to take way better pictures than they used to do 17 years ago because they need to use what they have now to to improve uh, the art that they, mm -hmm. they do. Exactly, yes. Uh, it, it's a good thing and a bad thing. I remember the years, uh, the film years, when you had to take those roles, send, it to, send them to another city and, and wait for a week or so just to see if that time, those two hours with your model or that day of work was worth it or not. So you could just wait for one or two weeks just to see if you did a good job or it was totally terrible. And exactly. There was no Photoshop so you couldn't retouch like today. And on the other side has made it easier and faster. Now what it used to take is four hours in photo shoot, now we can do it in two hours. And, and production has helped. So there's the good side and the bad side. And you were mentioning Oscar de la Renta, and that's one of your biggest highlights in your career. What has been the, the most impactful or positive work, a, a job as a model that you've had? The, the one that you were like, wow, I modeled this day and it was so great, I felt so good, the crew, everything, the way they were working. How was that? Well, uh, there have been a few. Um, when there was a fashion week in Ecuador, mm -hmm. made by Colombia, 
and Colombia took all his best designers and all the best models and and made a show of uh, Colombian fashion in Ecuador. It was a pleasure to be uh, representing my country as one of the few male models that they they took over there. Also, New York Fashion Week was great uh, to be surrounded by great professionals and uh, the people that you always admire to see them, to have them next to you. Mm -hmm. uh, Miami Fashion Week was nice, the uh, swimsuit, that was also a lot of fun. Oh yeah. And um, I like a lot the campaigns where they take us uh, to the tropical rainforests and we go in sailboats to, through rivers and we find the places and we do productions there. Uh, those adventures, I love them a lot because they challenge everything. They, because of the temperature, because of no electricity, because of the danger uh, of the rivers that, that grow or, or depending on the rain or the, the, the danger of the equipment because it might get um, wet. Yeah. And uh, so that, those, I love them because they are adventures. There's so many stories that we can share about all the, the adventures that happened during a production. Uh, but it's also very challenging for us as photographers to keep everything in mind and organized uh, and, and to make your job easier. So what would be a good advice for the new photographers that are coming out, you know, that want to be professionals in the industry, to make your job easier as a model? I think a photographer never should be sitting in a chair while taking pictures. I have the pleasure to work with Arnaldo Anaya, that is the photographer of uh, Oscar de la Renta, or Polo Ralph Lauren, or, uh, or Calvin Klein underwear, and they are great. But I've, I've had also the experience to work with photographers that, that they sit and they take the picture. A, a photographer should never be seated, should be always finding the angle. The best photographers are the ones that you see looking like this, down, 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 yes, yes, baby, come on here, okay, yes, good, 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 yes, okay, come a little bit, okay. Those are the good photographers, not the ones that stay there and take the picture, take the picture and stay quiet. You need communication and you you know that a photographer is good when they communicate with you, not only during the process of the photo shooting, but even before. You've sent me, when we do campaigns, you, you send me all the story, the reference, and everything, and, and that always helps a lot. Um, it's, I don't like uh, either to see the photographer looking always at the, at the LCD of the camera and seeing and making adjustments because that shows you that they don't have the eye of the camera. But uh, the classic photographers, they, 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 they forget that the digital camera has a screen because they, they, see, they see with the eye of the lens. And they, that's something that it's getting less and less and less frequent in this, in this area, in, in this job. People depend more and more and more on those uh, LCDs. On, the, on those external aids. Yeah, absolutely. And I've seen a lot of people that um, you lose the connection with, with the person, the subject. In this case, the model. We're working with the model. So you lose that connection. Uh, um, and, and it's great that, that you mentioned um, the mood board that I always send to, to kind of create that story, to kind of create that visual image so you can understand a little bit of what's going through my mind because sometimes I have thousands of ideas and, and I can tell you many stories but you're like okay Julian that's that sounds great but I don't see it as you are seeing it so sending those visuals talking a lot communication as you mentioned is just imperative I used to be very shy at the beginning believe it or not and uh, when I, when I started getting into the industry, it, it was I saw that it was all about communication. And the more I talked to my models, the more I talked to my crew, to my producers, to the editors, the easier it was my job because they were like trusting me more because they could see my vision. Exactly. Exactly. Um, 
what else can we share about your, your career? Well, it's a very passionate uh, career. Um, people come and leave uh, so fast. Some stay for, for more years. And um, I think you can stay in this industry if you are always uh, humble and uh, if you always have your uh, knock on wood and uh, that you know that you, de you are what you are thanks to the people. So uh, you know an artist's uh, heart the way, because of the way they, they treat their public, their people. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can't never say no to, uh, to a photo with a child, to sign something to, for them. Unfortunately, I've seen people doing that and they, they, they don't take the picture with the child, children. No, oh, no, we are in photos. No, don't worry. Uh, I'm sorry. No, you can never say that to, to a child because uh, you are what you are thanks to the people. So I um, appreciate that a lot. Take care of your body, eat natural, mm -hmm. train hard, and, um, and have peace in your mind and peace in your heart because that will, that will always reflect in the way you see the camera, the way you pose. Uh, if you are sad, you, you can't fake happiness in camera. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to last here for years, you need uh, to be a good human being. Overall, that, that's what you uh, propose, not just in one area, because you can be a great photographer or a great model, but if you lack the other side, you're not resting or, or you're not eating well, that other part of your life, then you're not gonna be a great professional. And exactly. I remember that we were talking about the um, how people come and go from the industry but those who last are the most passionate and uh, the ones that have been a little bit stubborn you know and, and it's just this is what I want to do and keep fighting and fighting and, and working and they fall down and they keep going would you say that that's true exactly that's completely true and uh, you need to be strong because I've seen also very beautiful women from this uh, job um, dying or taking out their lives and it's very sad it's very sad because uh, you need to be strong and stand up no matter what it's something great that's happening now around the industry and that people like you is using their image to propose a very fit and nice healthy life to, to pretty much break down that myth that exists that in order to be a model you have to starve yourself to death, not eat or eat very few things, you know, or, you know, stop eating at all. And now that's changing in the industry and people's coming out and saying, no, you need to take care of your body. You, you need to eat well, rest and everything as we were talking earlier. And it's very good that magazines that like Vogue are saying, okay, we are not going to put models in our magazine that don't look healthy. Only that is going to mean a very big change uh, in the whole world. Yeah, absolutely. And one last thing, if you had a 14-year-old David Anao here right now, what would you tell him if he comes saying, I want to be a model and I want to last in this industry, how can I make it? What would you say? Work with the best ones and uh, don't get distracted by the people that goes to you and, uh, and, and paints a castle in the sky and, and tells you a thousand things, but they only go for your body or they just want to explode you for themselves. There is lots of people like that in the industry. So I would say that little child um, to be always uh, surrounded by his parents and um, until he's uh, 18 years old and to work only with the best ones. Don't get distracted. That's great, that's great. David, again, thank you very much for being here today. 
uh, we've, we've taken some pictures that we're going to share around this. And you're also, you also have a program, a TV program. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that before we end? Vida en Forma. Vida en Forma is a TV program that is uh, broadcasted uh, from Argentina to Canada, including Spain and France. And uh, it's a fitness and wellness TV program and uh, a way to share, to share uh, my way of living. That is great. That is great. And you should check it out. It's full of great interviews, great people. I've helped you a little bit on that. And, and we've partnered in there and, and worked really hard for that. This guy is working a lot, but as you can see, he's very fit and he's always taking care of, him, of himself. And, and again, thank you very much. Don't miss out the pictures. They're awesome. It was, it's always a pleasure working with you, David. Julian, thank you. And I uh, hope to uh, see you later. See you later also in your TV program. Sure, we'll keep shooting. Stay tuned.